Hello, I'm Tom Joles, surrounded by some WKBW-TV favorites, promo The Robot with Dave Thomas. Remember them? Dustma. I joined WKBW-TV back in 1965, not only bringing you the weather, but serving as your commander. I know lots of you rushed home from school in the 60s and 70s to watch my friends on the Commander Tom show. And one of those kids has grown up and become quite a familiar face around News Channel 7. <laughs> It blasted off for the first time in September of 1963, destined to become one of the best-loved kids shows in local television history. The crew was Dave Thomas, Mr. Beeper, and a lovable bucket of bolts known as Promo the Robot. So until Monday morning, this is your old buddy Promo, saying have a nice weekend and I'll be seeing you. Rocket Ship 7 went off the air in the spring of 1978. Dave Thomas was transferred to the planet Philadelphia and is rumored to be a weatherman today. To fill the void of the Rocket Ship's departure, another kid show was born in the 60s, and over the years, its star proved to have the kind of staying power that no local kid show will likely ever see again. We went on the air December 10th, 1965, Monday. The whole concept was uh, the idea of Red Cook, our program director at the time. Originally, the name of the show was going to be Commander Tom and Super Bob, but uh, they were afraid that the show would bomb <laughs> and it would be an embarrassment for everybody. <laughs> so they just called it the Superman Show. To thousands of kids growing up in West star on television. Five days a week, loyal viewers would tune in to check out the latest adventures of C.T., Bathead, and Supermount. At that time, super characters, superheroes were very much in the vogue, kind of campy-like. And so we started out with a character called Supermount, who could do anything, he thought, but really couldn't do anything at all. But uh, that show clicked. We were on from 3.30 until 5 o'clock, and we ran Flash Gordons and two Supermans and, and the Flintstones, Roger Ramjet. And uh, it, just, uh, it just shot up through the roof. Eventually, many of the humans on the Commander Tom show were replaced by puppet characters. Maddie the Mod, Cecily Fripple, and the lovable, huggable Dust Mop joined the show and quickly won the hearts of Commander Tom's fans. Over the years, Dust Mop's looks have changed a bit, but as Tom points out... One of the secretaries uh, thought the puppet looked dirty as she passed by one day. She took it home and washed it. <laughs> it came back uh, a shrunken dust mop, so dust mop had to go to a uh, had to go to some sort of a farm, a rejuvenating farm, and came back an entirely different looking puppet. But <laughs> that was one of the things that you remember. In January of 1992, Promo the Robot and Commander Tom and a couple of other characters joined forces to bring youngsters the new edition of Rocket Ship 7. You help Santa Claus with yeah. deliveries? No okay. Ned Perks always threw the chickens with me. Oh. Once I made it clear I wasn't going to eat carrots all That's night great. just because I was filling in for reindeer. After nearly 30 years of loyal service, many believe the commander should have a promotion. I mean, you should be at least a general. We tried to... Uh, we tried Commander General at one time, but it just didn't work. It just didn't fit. It didn't, didn't sound right. For over three decades, News Channel 7 has presented fun, entertaining, and educational children's programming thanks to talented and dedicated folks like Tom Joles. We hope you enjoy the memories and look forward to sharing new ones. From kids and cartoons, Channel 7 was growing up. Still ahead, the story of Eyewitness News. StephAnnouncer.com Buffalo!